be for a moment. And then I'm gonna get the next card to do this fast. How much income do you get per year? Actual uh, um, income. Like what did you what did you ding right there? Seven hundred and Oh, I get five hundred eighty-four point eight five at the end of the year. Net gain throughout the year is seven seventy. Spain. Where's Spain? Oh, they took out Benin. Where's Spain? Really? Oh, they took a colony on the south part of Africa there, because it just came up a CV on them. I didn't know where that was from, but that's what it is. What they took over Benin. France is allied with Oya. I was just going to take them out. I guess I could take these guys. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was going to hit Ukraine. Even though these provinces are awful. These provinces are like all grain except for one. They're not awful. They're like four bucks and under pretty much. Yeah, but look at what manpower they give. There's more than just taxes and production. Manpower. 1,200, 900, 1,200, 900, 1,600, 2,000. I'm either going to hit Ukraine right now, or I'm going to hit uh, more of these Africa stuff. Not sure what yet. I'm still deciding. Lucrative trade! That. So I'll get some more troops. Yay! Fish in one of my provinces. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Do you have fish before that? Yes. Okay. Because I don't think I did. Forget coffee and sugar and all that great Well, oh, you don't have it. But you do already have it? Yeah, I have fish all over the place. Croatia has fish? No. Where's your fish? They Not a have fish. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, there's Trevezio has fish. Okay, you're good. Trading in fish doesn't, making fish doesn't matter, it's trading in it that really does. Okay. I mean, I guess value is okay. Yeah, you don't need to, you don't need to knock the fish. We're that wasn't, you know what, that comment was in poor taste, if anything. What'd you say? I didn't, <laughs> what? I, I didn't catch it, what was in poor taste? Uh, the fish comment? Which one? All of it. <laughs> Just the whole discussion about fish and not being, uh, who cares about fish? I'd rather have uh, coffee or something. Well, yeah, I mean, seriously. Okay, my boats are back. Excellent. You get on the fucking boat. Should stick some rebels on there, anyways. Here, all oh, 50 bucks. That's out of my budget. <laughs> You'll have to do it. 56 bucks to plant uh, the support of revolt there. Where? In uh, Ottoman's capital. You know, I might as well. What's their uh, stability? Minus two. Done and oh, done. There you go. Get some pretenders going. No, I would rather fund some Byzantine patriots. Oh, they're there. Where do they come from? The Greek patriots. They don't look Muslim. What's going on here? There's a conspiracy. 
You could hit uh, the south part there too. They don't have a core on it, by the way. They don't have a core on the Archaea. Yeah, neither. I, I gotta wait to do further assault on the Ottoman until I have uh, less information. And don't worry, I will. Oh, you're gonna? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm planning on moving right through here because I want to make it down to uh, Jerusalem. Let me just take it now. Just Jerusalem? go hit Syria now. Because I don't have, uh, my, my navy sucks in comparison to everybody else's. What's your navy at? You know, with your galleys and all that? Yeah, it's primarily galleys, so it would get its ass kicked by anyone with a real, you know, real navy. Right. Like a big person navy. Or like England? Like anyone with a big person navy. Oh, lose six infamy? I'll take it. What? From what? Uh, the random event that you oh, get for having lucky. level five, a level five uh, diplomat. Yep, that's a good one. That's a very good one. I think one of the best random events in the game is that, or the one you, if you have plutocracy all the way and you get like two and a half grand. That's a good one too, which I'm trying to get. Well, even if you have aristocracy all the way, you can get the one that's uh, <clears throat> based on how much money you have, the sale of titles. The one oh. that's like, oh, the choices are um, uh, gold is the price of, or gold is the, the sign of nobility and something else. And so you sell the titles and it's based on what five years of your income was or three years of your income. Okay. So at the point that I'm at right now, it would give me like four and a half thousand. Wow. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one you do. I thought plutocracy was the one that gave you money. I've well, never it does, done... It, it slide, moves your slider a notch towards plutocracy. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then have... the other option will give you um, a stability, uh, minus one stability and plus one aristocracy. So. Yeah, I have not done uh, full aristocracy because I think it's crap. I've only done uh, full plutocracy. It is certainly not crap, sir. What, just the cavalry thing? Well, it depends on what what you're doing. It does not. Yes, it does. Um, because for me, because I don't trade very much with this nation, having plus 5% trade efficiency and extra spies doesn't mean crap to me. And the penalty of cavalry cost plus 25% when I have um, like 50,000 50, cavalry will fucking break my bank. Whereas I get, you know, um, minus 20% to cavalry cost, plus an additional minus um, 5% to regiment costs, plus my leaders have a higher shock, and I get more diplomats, you're way better. Way so better what I do. Military choice? Yep. It's basically the military versus the trading choice. Right. The only one, the only slider one that there is never any question which way you go is centralization, decentralization. There is very, 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 very few times that being decentralized is actually valuable. And the only, and even the times that it is, it's not that valuable. Yeah. Just the war and, exhaustion. And it's not even the war exhaustion. It's specifically a random event that can occur when you have. Uh, high decentralization can counteract certain situations and can push you ahead on certain things, but it's so rare and so twitchy that it's not it's not really worth it, but some people have built entire strategies around it that have worked really well for them, but I can't imagine the value of it. Songhai again. Actually, I'm going to hit Ashanti, which is a purple people down here in Africa. And then Songhai will probably jump in and just 
fine with me, and then he can get hit too. I wonder how those Greek patriots are doing there for uh, the Ottomans. Alrighty. It is time. Yep, the song higher in. What happened to uh oh there he is now. Are there any other And I could make France release Flanders. Will get me some extra points. Sickness of the Empire or the Emperor. Oh no! I don't want aristocracy. Take a decentralization, I guess. Well, that was crap. Aristocracy would have been less painful than decentralization. Well, I'd take a stability hit too, so. which I don't want to do because stability is just ridiculous. It takes so long to get back. I'm just fed up with it. Yay, tobacco. You got your tobacco, finally. We were looking for it for a while. Oh god, darn it. Well, have you decided to hit France yet? Um, I'm gonna in a minute. some heavy war exhaustion from my religion related stuff. You're still doing that? Yeah. Thought you were done that stuff. No, I gotta convert all the places I just took. Oh, I see. Turning all those dirty Muslims into good God-fearing Catholics. Is any Ottomans alive today? I'm sure there's descendants of Ottomans alive today. Would they consider themselves Ottomans? Probably not. How can Songhai send spies to friggin' Europe? Doesn't make sense. 
And the Greek Patriots have taken over Adirn. Well, that's good. Oh, you're going to hit Denmark. Yeah, I got distracted by something shiny. Getting there. Come on, HRE. You need to have like ten hands here. Five keyboards. I know, right? <laughs> and more importantly, I need to stop being distracted by shiny objects. Yeah. That's really the key part. Those barks get finished. There. Oh no, a general is dead. No. The agony. The Africans of Gabu. You ever been to Gabu? I have not ever been to Gabu. Okay. Never really been uh, anywhere. The closest I've come to leaving uh, the United States is Canada, and that doesn't really count as leaving the United States. Oh! Uh, oh! Of course it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's a little different up here. <laughs> a little different. Yeah, it's like U.S. light. <laughs> Yeah, I've been to, uh, I guess I've been to Florida, and I've been to Buff uh, New York State, Buffalo, New York State. That's right over there. Yep. And... I could throw a rock and hit Buffalo. Oh, well, really? Not really. I could fire one out of the cannon and hit Buffalo, but okay. it's two hours away. I it's live in uh, Syracuse, so I'm like right dead center of the state. I guess I've been to Detroit. Uh, why for... would you ever want to? Well, for a flight. You're like, I didn't really choose to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Military access to Mascali. Okay, where are they going? They want to attack somebody? Who they want to attack somebody? Okay. Never mind. Well, time to whip your crane. It's about time. Damn. They got a... The Ottomans got an army over there. The Ottomans. Oh, they did. Well, when's the truce over? It's already over. Oh, well, what are you doing? What are you up to right now? What's, what's keeping you busy? Oh. There's, there's three things you got to do right now, okay? You either need to hit Denmark's colonies before they become full colonies, and you won't be able to do it. That would take infamy. You need to hit France and uh, get Flanders out, or get their stuff off of HRE territory. And you need to hit Ottomans and get their crap off the Balkans. So which are which of those are you not doing right now? Um, everything but the Ottoman part. Oh, you're attacking them? Yeah. Oh, you're doing it. Okay. No, I'm just leaving the... Uh... Oh, you're going to leave it rubbled? <laughs> yep. Rubbled up? You're going to leave it mobbed up? Yeah, because I really want them to uh, lose it. What are you doing with all those troops on Italy? Or, I mean, <laughs> not Italy. Uh, Northeast South America. You got 16 on each one. What's yeah. The, what's the point of that? That way, if anybody rises up, they immediately squash it. Well, who's going who's gonna to rise up from a 460 population colony? Um, there's going to be like 1,500 natives. There's going to be like 100. There's going to be like 100 people who just get pissed off and decide to run you over. It's going to be the 1,500 natives, and on top of that, uh, while they're over there, people can't just drop off 5,000 troops and steal all my all my uh, colonies. You know what? With the war making, <laughs> I wouldn't worry about 16 on each one. Those 16 is just the size of troop blocks that I make. 
You could have split that one into fours and done the same thing. Could have. But I did. Oh, Spain. Is that Spain? Spain being Spain is being a pain in the ass. They're whooping the uh, oyos or whatever they're called. How do you pronounce that? Oyo. Oyos. The oyos. You think there's any oyos alive today? Any descendants of the oyos? They are delicious cookies. <laughs> what about Bohemians? Is there any Bohemians alive today? Oh yeah. Uh, descendants of Bohemians. I think they're still Bohemians. Within Germany. All right, my island is ready. Cape Baird is ready with its little island. Well, I'm taking on a bit of inflation now because I'm doing colonialism, and it's colonial colonialism is expensive, not cheap. We suffer from Hassa. Who's that? I don't know. Some random ally of the Ottoman. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wonder. I'm thinking more again about... Uh... Oh, neat. I, never, I haven't seen those guys before. Mentes. Mentes in south of Turkey there. I was thinking more about what we do for a uh, three-way on this. It'd be kind of neat to play outside of Europe, though, and try to invade Europe. I have a. Uh, I played a game a little while back of as uh, Vijayagar and formed India, uh, Hindustan. Right. Well, we gotta. We have to play something that we're kind of nearby, or it's not going to be very interactive, right? So, and if we had somewhat of a common goal, that'd be good too. That's why I was thinking like. I don't know, the Ottomans are kind of big. I, I kind of like starting smaller than the Ottomans, but like someone could be Georgia and someone could be, I don't know, someone in the Middle East here and someone could be, I don't know, I don't know, maybe Moscow -y. and then just try to go west into Europe. It would be kind of interesting. Bulgarian nationalist that clears it up and guess where? Bulgaria. Those bastards. Never where I would have been expected to see them. Yeah, well, they came out of nowhere. They were hiding. And they got pissed off one day and they just decided that we don't like Austria anymore. They're a bunch of Catholic heathens and they don't appreciate our Greek orthodoxy. And so we're just going to rise up and, and, uh, Shut down the bar and and then and, get shot by a and point. siege siege the fort. Get shot by a few thousand people. Wonder how everything went so dreadfully awry. Yeah, well, they they probably probably were drunk and uh, started they wanted to cause some trouble. That's what happened. What about uh, what are we doing with Denmark here? 